the hip drop tackle that I was telling Steve Kim about a long time ago is probably more dangerous, in my opinion, than the helmet to helmet. Um, not that doesn't mean I want it to be banned, but anyway, that's a whole other thing. Let's get your take on this. Uh, this is just becoming cringe worthy for me. Um, I just, I, I just don't know when it ends. Um, but we banned the hip top drop tackle, uh, Smitty and uh, Matt. I mean, and Jeff. I don't know where you, where what you guys. It's, it's horrible. It. It's horrible. Okay. I've been standing on this side of fence from the beginning. You're trying to make a unsafe sport safe. You're trying to make a contact physical sport safe. Hip drop tackle. I've never even heard of the term personally until this past year. I understand the 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 risk and why players are getting hurt, but it's very, very rare that this even happens where players do get hurt, number one. Number two, football is a bang-bang sport. At the end of the day, as a defensive player, you are trying to chase down this guy going 100 miles per hour and stop them from getting to their destination, whether it's a first down or a touchdown. I understand in a perfect world you want to get in front of the guy, bend your knees, Keep put it, you know, head to the side, wrap up, keep your feet driving. We are, we've all been trained on how to properly tackle. But in a football game, when things are happening so fast and there's weird angles that are happening, you don't, that perfect form tackle rarely happens throughout an entire game because there's certain things in a game you can't fully practice for because it just, it just happens. There's certain angles. It just, this just happened. He turned to the side. The guy is running past him. He's trying to grab him immediately and bring him down. His, he has no time to get in front of him and get square and make sure he's just hitting him. And all they're doing right now is making the game extremely difficult to play defense. And reaction and, and, and the reason behind that is to create more offense, more scoring, and more casuals to come in and watch the sport. I hate it. It's just ridiculous. It's stupid. It makes no sense. It, uh, I'm glad players have come out and voiced it like these guys. Look at Lonnie Johnson, my our kid, my kid. Uh, um, That's a good tweet by Holland. <laughs> by who? Javon Holland. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Here's my take on this. Uh, it's ironic. Smitty and I had a couple of the, the people that were very – well, actually the two main people involved in, in – getting our governor in California, Newsom, to veto a shithole bill, which was to ban youth tackle football here in California. Since we did that very few months ago, Smitty, I don't know if you've heard the news, they brought it back. They're trying to eliminate it again. They've reissued the bill again. Why did that bill get issued last night? Everyone's hitting me up. McCarthy, our fucking... Bullshit politician has brought it back up, even though Newsom banned it or vetoed it. Now they're bringing it back up the same day that this happens in the NFL. Now it's ironic that the NFL PA and the youth tackle football thing have a, they're in bed together. And now all of a sudden you see California bring this rule up again. The most popular state in the union brings back the let's get rid of youth tackle football. And then you see the NFL ban a tackle rule. It's very ironic. Nobody's going to talk about that, but I wanted to be the first one to bring it up and correlate the two. Um, They are in bed together, the NFL and the NFL PA with the youth tackle football um, association. So, it doesn't shock me at all that these two things happen within 24 hours of each other. Uh, this is a joke. It's really a mockery. It's not going to change into, unless you put your foot down and change it. By well, the way, um, Jeff, by the way, before you say something, they already also approved giving a team a third challenge if they get one of their first two correct. That also went into effect today. What are we fucking doing? I've so been over along the game. I've been on for about 20 minutes, and what have we talked about? We've talked about in various sports at various levels the continuing destroying it. We have to wonder, how long will this last? How, how can we continue to operate a sport like this and basically say you can't tackle? And, Smitty, that was a really well-done breakdown of how, how, how would you decide in, in the split section we have to decide whether to make a tackle or not. 
oh, I had to make sure I don't hit him here or, or to like, it's crazy to think about how do we continue to um, have a sport that, that can operate this way? I, I, and I think you're right for someone like myself as a gambler, I'm going to say, okay, well, this is going to somehow down the road precipitously make scoring a lot higher. How long can you keep making rules like this before the sport cannibalizes itself? How long can you, you know, and again, we've talked about college football, college basketball, the NFL, the NBA is a fucking shit product. I mean, MLB, I mean, they, they continue to make rule changes. I mean, how can sports continue to go on like this? I mean, this is the, this is know. the, this is what, I mean, let's just be honest. Like, I'm going to be, be one of the only ones to stand out there and say it. Like, this is why I don't want women coaching in the NFL. But this is why they're allowing women to coach. It always comes NFL. back to this somehow. Yeah. Let's be honest, though. This is why they're allowing women to coach the NFL. Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it 100. This, these gr- women can coach in a league that's not a gladiator sport. Let's just keep it real. Why would you want women in a gladiator sport? Because you're going to transition that gladiator sport into a more conducive sport for women. Like, this is an all-inclusive Billion dollar industry, and now we have to have everybody involved. It was first, you know, the rainbow flags and shit that we had put up all in the end zones, and now it's, you know, youth sports. Now we want to ban youth sports, but now we want to have women can coach um, in a sport that isn't as violent as it once was. It just is not. Optically, Jeff, that's not a bad look if a woman is in that sport coaching it or refing it or whatever, if it's not as violent as it once was. Like, that's why it correlates fanboys in the chat. That's why it has to do with women. So we're gonna we're gonna continue to see a shift to Jeff's point. And it's and I just want to know what is ours. That's all I want to ask you guys. I want to know what the fuck does a man have anymore. Please let me know. Being a mechanic, uh, construction, like what? Oh, the things you need? What is a man's fucking area and space anymore? We have to fucking adhere to made-up humans, to women taking over fucking coaching NFL football. Like, but we allow it, homie. Like, nobody wants to Listen, fucking JP. stand up. Jeff, nobody wants to stand up and say it. What, I'm not guy. It I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Like, I'm tired of it. I'm going to be honest. I'm fucking tired of it. But until, we have spaces that should be ours, Jeff. And women matter, have spaces though. that should be theirs. But it doesn't matter, though, mm. because next September, when the NFL starts, every stadium will be sold out and merchandise will be purchased. And, and, and no one will actually step up and do something that's going to hurt anybody's wallet. And people, but just Jeff, it there. is. It is, contrary to belief. And we have proof of it. We've had major people come on and prove and show why it's changing. We just don't know. The optics see the stadium full, but it's actually being filled by corporate America. It's not the normal fan anymore. Jeff, If apparently groceries are very high price. Apparently gas is very high. But apparently, it doesn't matter. People still have to buy them regardless. Fuck, yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. Right. But if I buy them as a corporate America and I place people in those seats as giveaways to make my company look better, which we all do, we know that's the business. Then we all think it's optically full. But, but JB, it's not. listen we to this. Just, you, I, and Smitty, maybe we can afford a ticket or two, but we're not affording $10,000 seats at the but, Super Bowl. It doesn't matter. Okay. Here, and here's the way I'll relate it. If I do a YouTube show and some fuckhead troll watches it, it counts as a view. And if someone that loves me watches it, it counts as a view. So as long as those seats are filled, who gives a fuck who's sitting in them? That's how they look at it. People will buy them. There's a lot of rich people in this country. A lot. We have the most millionaires by a fucking wide margin on the planet. They will be filled. No one cares if it's the stadium's loud as long as it's full. And as long as that gate ticket, that keeps being sold. That's all that matters. And you're right. The sport will begin to suck more and more because you don't have those people painting their faces and that kind of thing. People love that. But then again, do you also want the fucking idiots throwing up on each other in the city that, you know, in the area that I'm in Philadelphia, where it's a short, that's a short, that's a quick fix and a short one in a long term of things to your point. 
This country will it might look good on now, Jeff. Years. It ain't gonna look good in five years when the the casual normal fan, their fan base for the Steelers that are still mill workers can't go to a game and they only can watch it on TV. That's when the viewership will be decline and they're gonna have a problem on your hands. These fat cat owners don't care as long as the tickets are being sold. Yeah, and that's and and I'm not telling you it's right. It's sad. It sucks, but I think on the on the flip. Those mill workers that you're talking about, you know what they'll do? Because they can't help themselves. They will still watch the game. It's just the truth. They can't help themselves. And until people stand up and say, I ain't watching it anymore. You know, look at all these tough guys that talked. I'm not watching it because it's woke. You still fucking watched it. Shut up. You know, I I, I just don't. uh, I don't think it'll matter. It sucks. 